And hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Chats. I'm your host, Mason Egger, and here are my friends that I'm not even going to try to point today. So everyone introduce yourself. Sure. Hi, I'm Matt, uh, Community Platform Manager DigitalOcean uh, and a Cloud Chats host. And we're here once again, live from Deploy this time. Uh, excited to be here. Kim, Chris, why don't you introduce yourselves? Sure. Hi, I'm Kim Schlesinger. I'm the newest developer advocate at DigitalOcean, focusing on cloud native technologies. Uh, hey, everybody. I am Chris Sev, developer advocate here at DigitalOcean, and I focus on the past platform as a service side of things, a little bit of front end and uh, app platform. And as of today, manage MongoDB, which is exciting. <laughs> so excited to finally have that out. Yeah. Ah. So what's been y'all's favorite uh, moment of deploy so far? Well, I mean, I guess MongoDB, right? Uh, I, that's kind of, I'm going to say Matt? that's deploy. <laughs> is it, Matt? <laughs> Do you, it sounds like you have another opinion. Well, no, no, no. It was like, it was more a, is that deploy or is that just, we've released MongoDB today. Oh. But MongoDB is super cool either way. So that's my favorite highlight of the day. And I guess highlight of the deploy as well. My yeah, is... highlight was similar. It was Chris's talk on MongoDB, but having him explain the benefits of a managed service and uh, manage Mongo. And I've, you know, we've known how hard he's been working on getting the hackathon ready and uh, to watch it all go live was really wonderful. I, I did put in a lot of work, which I'm really sad about. Nobody <laughs> said anything. Um, my slide animations. Oh, uh, they were great. I'll, I actually really liked them. Yeah, they were really good. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, and everyone say hi in chat. We're we're watching the chat as well. So uh, tell us where you're joining in from, what you're mm -hmm. liking about deploys so far. Would love to hear from you. Uh, hey, David, in chat. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I like, think my my favorite part so far has definitely been the Discord uh, mm. channel. I think there's just a lot of really cool stuff going on there, the deploy, the, the onstage stuff, which is new for me to use. That's been a lot of fun. So been really enjoying that. Yeah. Mason stole my answer. I was going to go for discord <laughs> as well. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's just so fun to be able to two way engage with people instead of just like, you know, you're up speaking. It's kind of the fun part of a uh, in-person and digital conferences, right? Is mm. the hallway track, the discord track. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll change my answer. My favorite part of the conference is Chris's slide animations. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like was really I was really oh, enjoying no. them. I was like, wow, I guess I like my all my slide animations for my talk later just appear. And I'm like, oh, I guess I have to make them better. <laughs> I, I don't think how much work went into those because there were some pretty custom animations at points. Uh, let me tell you, Keynote on Mac if you have a slide and you copy and paste the same slide and then you change the text, you just click a button called magic move and it does it. Oh, that's so really so nice. <laughs> yeah. You just highlight all the slides and then you click, uh, turn on magic move. Well, that sounds great. I love that. I'm going to have to try that for now. And I haven't, I haven't used keynote in a very long time. I've, I've always been a staunch PowerPoint fan personally. Yeah. No, nobody. Uh, I don't think anyone does keynote animations. I uh, like Keynote. <laughs> well, great. I guess let's go ahead and move into our game, the thing that we know everybody came here for today, another game of true or false. Woo! <laughs> so as always in this game, this is audience participatory. If this is your first time watching Cloud Chats, go to kahoot.it and input 785-9081. This is a game of true or false where I pose 10 questions that are true or false nature to my hosts and they will try to answer along with you. The winners of this will get a uh, deploy sticker pack, a deploy swag pack. So the top three winners of this uh, of this deploy session will get swag. So you're definitely gonna wanna try to log in uh, kahoot.it and then input the code 7859081 and you'll be able to compete for some true on some true or false trivia for some digital ocean uh swag 
and, and it's our wait special de- deploy swag right special deploy swag so this is not nice. the normal swag this is special deploy swag it'll make you even more deployer <laughs> And while we wait on that, we're going to go ahead and go with Kim's word of the week. Yeah. So the word of the week is actually a phrase this week, but it's managed service. So I looked this up on Wikipedia and the definition there is managed services is the practice of outsourcing the responsibility for maintaining and anticipating need for a range of processes and functions in order to improve operations and cut (laughs) expenses. So that's a really unwieldy definition. Um, But when I think about managed services in tech, I think about all of these things, uh, like even the cloud or droplets, that someone else does a lot of the hard work for. So um, I don't know. Let's go around. Uh, everybody, just give me one example of a managed service that you can think of. Um, let's start with Chris. <laughs> oh, I've got tons. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of this. It's, I don't know. It's like you get to hire a whole team to manage one thing for you. Um, and also... Everybody joining, welcome, welcome. I see uh, Francisco in chat, Fernando in chat, uh, welcome. And check out my name. I randomly got Awesome Shark, which is pretty digital ocean. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Uh, um, but yeah, my favorite managed services, I, I definitely, the ones you want to hand off, right, are authentication payments for sure. So there's like Stripe in there, there's Auth0 there. And then uh, one that I really like is handing off search uh, to mm. Algolia, which does real-time search really well. Ooh. Nice. Matt, what are Matt? some managed services yeah. yeah, that you like? So Chris actually managed to take both of the two that I was going to go for, which is Stripe and Algolia, uh, because they're the two kind of that I've, I've dabbled with in the past. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll plug some DigitalOcean products here. <laughs> I love our managed Postgres. Uh, mm. We use it a lot internally even. Um, it's just wonderful to be able to spin up a database and it's there, it's working. I can start pumping data into it um, without having to worry about actually like creating a cluster of database nodes and all that. So, Are you using an ORM or anything or just? We're not. So we've made a strict rule with our new stack that we're working on. We said no ORMs because we don't trust hmm. them to write efficient queries. So we're writing all our SQL by hand. Wow. I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mason, um, what are some managed services on the top of your mind? Well, we have App Platform, of course, which is just managed code, which I really enjoy having all of that. Um, and then managed databases is a big one. So like I love I love App Platform because I mean like I'm an infrastructure as a service guy, so I love deploying uh, things on servers. Like I enjoy all the old, the nginx and stuff. But sometimes I'm really lazy. Um, it, it's it's is is my laziness going to win out? It usually does, and that means that I don't want to do um, I don't want to deal with any of that. So I use managed services. Managed databases are the thing I use all the time. I do not want to stand up Postgres. I do not want to stand up Redis. It is not fun for me. I'd rather just uh, pay for it to be done. So I love those for sure. Nice. I was thinking about um, different repositories. So like code repositories, like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. Um, Like you want those to be highly available. And like if I were running one of those on my own or like the company I was working at, it's a, it's a lot harder, so things like that. Also um, like container image repositories, Docker Hub, Quay, uh, DigitalOcean, uh, Container Registry, like those things I think are easy to forget are managed services, but somebody is handling like the server management, the software management, the upgrades, they're doing it for you so you can focus on on what you want to build. That was my favorite part of Chris's talk this morning was um, Chris telling us about like, you want to focus when you're an app developer on your front end and your back end. And you want to like have lots of parts of what's going on in your application um, handled by someone else. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, Great. you just brought me back to a time where I, I vaguely remember hosting my own Git. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> let's let's not let's not go down this rabbit hole. It's gonna be nothing but sadness. <laughs> let's Everyone let, like, feels a little bad. <laughs> there's there's nothing but sadness whenever I look back at like what I used to want to host on my own. <laughs> Uh, mercurial running my own GitLab, running my own jenkins because i felt like i'll I'll just i'll set up a whole pipeline to deploy this one python package that i maintain who needs travis when i can spin up my own jenkins obviously the wise decision i mean Uh, okay, well, if you're just tuning in, please join Kahoot.it for the chance to win some swag. The top three winners of our true or false trivia questions will win some swag. It's good to know that you will see the questions appear on your phone and you will answer true or false. This will take care of any stream delay, so it will be fair for y'all. Um, and then also, it's speed as well as accuracy. So if you have the right answer, but it takes you a little bit of time to get it, you're going to be ranked a little bit lower. So we're about to start here. Let's see, we'll give another... 30 seconds. You can also join at any time during. So like you can jump in and who knows if everybody's doing really bad, you come in and get them all right. You can still win some swag. So we're going to start here about, mm, we'll say 10 seconds. Any last words from my host before we get going? Do you want to reveal yeah, so- the theme? Whilst we yeah. Went? What's the, Oh what's yes. The, topic? the theme. Ooh. Our theme today is digital ocean trivia. Who would have guessed? So this is going to be trivia, some of the more lesser known trivia facts or more well-known trivia facts about DigitalOcean. Some will be easy. Some are going to make you scratch your head. And I guess with that, we're going to go ahead and go. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, we got a whole bunch. (laughs) It always happens. Right as I say, we're starting. They all jump in. Come on, we can take (laughs) more. It works every time. Remember, even if we keep going, you can keep jumping in to win some. I think I want to bump. Yeah, I just kind of feel like I want to stop for a second. Well, okay. you can press go and they can still join. So, I, yeah, you're right. But the game pen doesn't show up as easily anymore, does it? I don't remember. It's oh, in the remember. bottom right. It's, it's only like I've done this for 12 weeks in a row now. <laughs> okay. First question true or false? DigitalOcean was founded in 2012. Was DigitalOcean founded in the year 2012? Ooh, I'm excited to see the Sammy picks you got. Oh, yeah. I, this I love actually it. might be, this might actually be the only one. <laughs> Does that mean we've got stock photos instead, which we all know are wonderful as well? We have good photos. I did good. <laughs> and this was true. Wow, we got up to 25. Remember, you can keep joining by joining Kahoot.it and the pins at the bottom. Yes, DigitalOcean was founded in 2012. Who's coming up front? Oh, the Swift Meerkat, then the Champion Swan, and then Fuzzy Piranha. Wow, mm. I thought I got that quick, but there's quicker. There is quicker. <laughs> Next question. DigitalOcean's first Manhattan office was on 6th Avenue. So DigitalOcean is a New York-based company. We are based out of the state of New York and specifically in Manhattan. I think that's a borough. I don't understand. I'm from Texas. (laughs) Um, But was the first office on Manhattan Street? Is this true or false? First off. Or on 6th Avenue. This is false, actually. You're right, 6th Avenue, not Manhattan Street. DigitalOcean's current office is on 6th Avenue. It's a wonderful office. Its first office was on Lafayette Street. I have no idea where that's at. I'm sure some people in New York do, but I don't. What do we got? Oh, Champion Swan come up with Prairie New and is that Genius Oryx? What's an Oryx? An animal question mark? These are all supposed to be some sort of animals. So I now I learned about a new animal today. Next question. The first ever tagline on on a DigitalOcean t-shirt said, got droplets. Is this true or false? It was the first ever tagline Hmm. on a DigitalOcean t-shirt. The t-shirt you are seeing is not the first t-shirt. It is not. (laughs) That is the Kubernetes (laughs) t-shirt. Sammy at the helm. Sammy at the helm. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's so cute. I have sent many Sammy on at the helm stickers in the last few days. So uh, <laughs> this is That's false. Funny. The first ever tagline on a DigitalOcean t-shirt said, who gives an SSH? <laughs> Cause that's cute. <laughs> and Prairie Ooh. new coming up and Amazon owl and shining Hawk. Oh, but Rocky unicorn coming in for the lead. And here we go. DigitalOcean's most popular tutorial ever visited is how to remove Docker images, containers, and volumes. So is DigitalOcean's most popular tutorial ever visited how to remove Docker images, containers, and volumes? Well, we all know the correct strategy here is just to uninstall Docker and, and reinstall it. It That's does the only work. Way to actually yes. clean up everything. Yes. 
Yes. I feel like this has to be a how to install Ubuntu. No, nope, oh, it's goodness. it's actually true. Huh. They because before Docker Purge, and I honestly am curious if Docker Purge was created for this, you had to do like some pi- like Docker Docker remove and then like some do- like Docker p- images LS or something to be able to get them all. You had to do some weird pipe grip stuff to be able yeah. to get it to actually remove uh-huh. everything. So it's a very it's our most popular tutorial ever written, which wow. is Go just always goes to show you never know what's going to be your most popular content. <laughs> As Chris, the ex, the ex founder or the founder of Scotch.io, I guarantee you he could probably agree with that, right, Chris? Uh, most popular top four things about Bootstrap you don't know. Oh, that's uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> does like, that it does, took me ten minutes to write, and it was yeah. the most popular? <laughs> does that does that hurt a little bit? You you, I felt a little bit of of uh, of hurt in that. Yeah, well, it it wasn't my article. It was my co-founder's article, so. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. Next question. Hacktoberfest started in 2015. Matt, if you get this wrong, I will be so upset at you. (laughs) Hacktoberfest started in 2015. Hmm, And he's gone gone oddly quiet. This is false. Hacto- the first Hacktoberfest started in 2014. Yep. This is our Which first is why year. In the 2020 graphic on the screen, there's seven bumps on a leaf because it was the seventh year. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> I'd actually, I didn't know that. So I'm glad that Matt knew that. <laughs> we do it every year. Like the previous year was a hexagon for six. Every okay. year the design has a number in it somewhere. Okay. This that's should have been fun. a true or false question. Okay. Um, all right, before we go on. Oh, it's oh, too no. late. I already we'll hit the go- button. We've gone on. <laughs> We've gone on. I'll stop at the next one. Dig- <laughs> Digital Ocean is a Techstars graduate. Is this true or is this false? Is but did Digital Ocean graduate from Techstars? This is true. It seems like a lot of our customers know this. Digital Ocean is a Techstars graduate. And on our scoreboard, dare, oh, nobody moved. Wow, no so movement. the top, well, no, well, no oh, nobody moved, but the points went up. Daring Koala, Amazon Owl, Bold Raven, Shining Hawk, and Swift Meerkat. Okay, oh, pretty Kim, close, what were you, though. They are. What were you going to say, Kim? Close. Well, we were talking about, is the Oryx an animal? And Kate says, it is a type of antelope. <laughs> oh, Okay. So it's I'm animal. learning a lot more about animals in cloud chats than I <laughs> expected. <laughs> this is what happens when you have to make one of these every week and you can't always think of a tech theme. <laughs> Next question. DigitalOcean got an interview with TechCrunch in exchange for 100 push-ups from its CEO, Mitch Wainer. Huh. So DigitalOcean, did DigitalOcean get an interview with TechCrunch in exchange for 100 push-ups from its CMO, Mitch Wainer? Was Good it deal. Digital Ocean CMO or tech yes? This is digital. This is Digital Ocean's one of Digital Ocean's founders CMO. Hundred push-ups is a lot of push-ups. All okay, the fact that everyone got the, I, the fact that everyone thought this was true. <laughs> I'm, I guess it's so absurd. Yes, this is a, like when they were they were at a local startup, uh, I guess conference in New York, and the TechCrunch people were tech or yeah, the TechCrunch people were coming around. So in order to get a interview with them, they bet them that he could do a hundred push-ups, and if they did, they would. Do an interview. Startups are fun. <laughs> okay. And now we have Daring Koala and Amazon Owl didn't come up, but Swift Meerkat's coming up, Soaring Crane and Prairie New. I keep wanting to say GNU there, but I know that's wrong. <laughs> Next question. DigitalOcean currently has eight data centers. Hey, I know Does- this one. Yay. Does DigitalOcean currently have eight data centers? True or false? I also have to remember that y'all can hear the music and I can't. So I sit here in silence. Oh, well, (laughs) I can hear it. It's nice. (laughs) This is false. DigitalOcean has eight regions, but there are 13 unique data centers within the DigitalOcean cloud platform. Hmm. Oh, we got some stuff coming up. Dr. Squid. Daring Koala is still holding on. Amazon Owl's coming up, but we've got how many more questions do we have? Two oh, questions. Two more to questions. Go. Two so questions. As a yet. reminder, 
there is swag up for grabs for the top three. Yes. It's not just about getting it correct, it's about speed as well. So if you're <laughs> way down the list currently, you've still got quite a good chance of reaching the top three. Exactly. So here we go. Second to last question. DigitalOcean's first product, Droplet, featured the option between spinning disk and solid state drives. DigitalOcean's first ever product, Droplet, which was the v, which is our VM product, featured the option between spinning disk and solid state drives. Is this a back true? Back in 2012, or, huh? Back in 2012. This is false. DigitalOcean's claim to fame was that all servers, all VMs were solid state. That was what, that was kind of their, like, that's what we're going to do different is every single droplet that was released is a solid state. And it's still this, that way to this day, unless you get our new premium droplets, which I mean, it's still technically solid state, but those are NVMe solid state drives instead of your, you know, SATA based solid state drive. So yeah, DigitalOcean's first product. There's never been a spinning disk on a droplet as far as I know. There might be some in like some storage arrays somewhere, but not for that. Oh, Darren Koala is doing great. I wonder if that's Daniel. <laughs> I, wonder I, if that, I wonder if that's I wonder if that's my boss. Uh, Amazon Al Prairie New and Bold Raven. Well, he would know everything. He's been here for almost eight years. Yeah. So last question. Digital Ocean was listed earlier this year on the NASDAQ, and there's a random apostrophe that I don't know why it's there. Nice. DigitalOcean was listed earlier this year on the NASDAQ. Is this true or is this false? Good photo. The stock images on Kahoot are really good. Very shiny. It is. Yeah. This is false. DigitalOcean was listed off the New York Stock Exchange, not the NASDAQ, <laughs> when we went public back in March. And that is all we have for that. So who's our winners? Number three, Shining Hawk. Oh, came up, took it at the last minute. Number right two, on. Amazon Owl. And number one, with eight out of 10 correct, so it's Ooh. not Daniel, because he would have got 10, is Daring Koala. Yay. Yeah, congrats. congrats. Our runners up were Agile Dove, which must have jumped up at the very last minute because we hadn't seen that name, and Prairie News. So you, those three people, Daring Koala, Amazon Owl, Shining Hawk, email me your name, or so your your username here so mason at digitalocean.com and in your email include your kahoot name but also include all of the information i would need to ship you swag which includes city state country postal code a lot of people keep forgetting that postal code um send that to me in an email we will forward it along to the deploy staff and they will get you some swag so congratulations to our winners Again, it, that my email is mason at digitalocean.com. You can also find me on Twitter or anywhere else. I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm the easiest person on earth to find. Oh, I didn't know I could see like... Oh, this is cool. Oh, I've never seen How this How have before. we never done this before? Because I've never <laughs> clicked the next button. <laughs> <laughs> Only been doing this for 12 weeks. And now, as a final part of our show, we've got seven minutes left. Chris is going to talk about our... MongoDB Hackathon. Chris, take Yay. it away. <laughs> yes. So uh, to celebrate that we have managed MongoDB on DigitalOcean, which I'm really excited for, uh, like, Ma like Matt said earlier, the ability to spin up a database and just start using it, super, super helpful. So for the next three weeks up until July 20th, we are launching a DigitalOcean plus MongoDB Hackathon. And if you join, you'll get $50 in credits for DigitalOcean to use. And the goal here is to build a CRUD application, maybe something you've always wanted to build that you haven't had the time to. Hackathon is a great way to like force yourself into building it. And once you build the app, submit it and join us, chat with us in the MongoDB-Hackathon Deploy Discord. And what you get prizes if we scroll down here if you submit Ooh. a valid application yeah we get uh shirts and stickers so great way to build with mongodb and try out mongodb and deploy it to DigitalOcean and build out any app that you've been wanting to build and shirts a good bonus nice chris awesome. what if you are new to using mongo yes so 
I am going to be putting out a lot of tutorials on YouTube. We'll be doing some live streams. And if you have any questions ever, please find us in the Discord, the MongoDB-Hackathon Discord. We're all there answering questions for whatever you need in there. If you want uh, more tutorials, we have a couple assets that we can link your way. But uh, really exciting stuff. Three weeks to build a fun app. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, that looks really fun. It looks like you blog about what you're building and then submit via this form, which looks like a Google form. So, all right. Awesome. Great. So let's go ahead and go over to our chat real quick. So if you have any questions real quick, we've got about three-ish minutes left before we need to run away. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see what questions we have in the chat. So uh, Francisco asks, curious if we could explain about what a droplet is. So... Do I want to take that? I'm technically the infrastructure as a service person, but do I want to make someone else do it today? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it real quick. So a droplet is a virtual machine. Essentially, it's a cloud, cloud-based virtual machine that you can run any subset of a set of Linux uh, operating systems on that you can use to deploy applications, run servers, to your heart's content, build a Minecraft server. I do that sometimes whenever I'm bored. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just a cloud VM that has different varying amounts of RAM and uh, CPUs, depending on how big of a server you need, uh, and the prices vary from there. So yeah, that's a droplet. DigitalOcean's first product, which only ever had solid states, as we learned from our true <laughs> or false. Very good. And then there, next question is, are you speaking about traditional managed services like managed OS or managed DB, whereas the service provider takes those off your hand? I guess that's to the question earlier. Managed services, uh, Kim, we want, do you want to take that one? Yeah, I was just thinking very generically about the term managed services. So both, um, uh, and wanted to highlight uh, manage Mongo and that you don't have to set up the Mongo database. You just can click through, get that connection string and start working on your application right away. Um, just you focus on all the cool, cool crud functionality of your app uh, instead of worrying about uh, database management. Awesome. And then one other question was, is droplets in reference to CF droplets? I assume Cloudflare, does Cloudflare have droplets, Matt? No. I've not heard of that term before in the context of Cloudflare. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, droplets is in reference to RV, to DigitalOcean's droplets. I think we're yeah. the only ones that have named it droplets. So, so everyone else like calls it a VPS or something. We call it droplets because it's nicer. Because it's cute. Yeah. yeah. Because if we didn't have ocean puns, we would die. We're all fed on ocean puns. <laughs> like um, if, you, if you ever came internally at DO, every single project internally is named something ocean related. Uh, it's just how we roll. It's it's fun. It's great. Blue is a blue is a fun color to match everything with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you have some C panel for the droplets? I think we have think a marketplace app for it. We have a marketplace app for actually C-Panel. looking, yep. Um, but yes, you can definitely install it on a droplet, and I'm looking for the marketplace app. We do, yeah. CPanel yeah. and WHM combined. Yeah. So yes, we do. Go to DigitalOcean's marketplace to install it and get going. Nice. Okay, so am I doing a joke of the day? Are we going to end with that? Do we ha Is that part you of our... Oh, yeah. I'm have, ready to I be the only ready. person laughing. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I before, like your jokes. <laughs> be, before we go, we hope you enjoy the rest of the ploy. We hope you had fun with us. Feel free to go ahead and keep and keep and going on. Ah, brain, enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs> keep watching things. Brain, hard to speak. Say, um, hi come, say hi in Discord. Come watch us. Uh, cloud chats on Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern. We will also be moving directly into the Discord uh, speaker on stage thing right after this. So come hang out with us there. And finally, because we're running out of time, my joke. Are we ready? Go for yes. it. Yes. Ready. <laughs> what did the SQL query say to its friends that it saw at the bar? Ooh. Something what? joins. Um, yeah, what? Can I join you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There That's we good. go. In honor of Mongo Manage MongoDB, we did an SQL joke. So thank <laughs> you. If you, and there's another joke there. If you Kim got it, yep. so we're good. <laughs> I don't got a question. <laughs> yeah, nope, Kim got it. Uh, awesome. Thank you, everyone. We had a great time, and we will see you hopefully at 11 a.m. on Eastern time on Thursdays.
See you then. Bye, Thanks, everyone. everybody. <laughs>